the gentleman from Illinois, Mr. Krishnamoorthy, is now recognized. Director Ray, when we last spoke on April 15th at a House Intelligence Committee hearing, you testified the fo as to the following, quote, I think there have been some instances where you have non-state actors who have offered different kinds of support to domestic violent extremists here in this country. You continue to believe that, right, Mr. Ray? Uh, yes, my testimony from the, our prior exchange uh, remains the same. Yes, sir. And the FBI has been investigating this issue of the foreign funding of domestic violent extremists, correct? Uh, well, foreign funding, um, certainly, certainly different kinds of interaction. I'm not sure that I could sp specify funding sitting here right now, but we are very focused on the interplay between different types of, as you said, non-state actors overseas and domestic terrorists here in the United States. On January 14th, Yahoo News highlighted a report on the issue of DVE funding from a company called Chainalysis. According to this report, one month before January 6th, a French donor, quote, lamenting the decline of Western civilization, close quote, sent approximately a quarter million dollars in Bitcoin to an indiv individual named Nick Fuentes. Why Nick Fuentes? Nick Fuentes, who's been suspended from YouTube for hate speech, is the self-proclaimed leader of the group Groypers, a white supremacist group opposed to immigration and minorities. The Anti-Defamation League confirmed that many of Groyper's members were at the Capitol on January 6th, including Nick Fuentes himself. Here's a picture of Mr. Fuentes from his Twitter account on that day. The circle is around Mr. Fuentes himself. ProPublica documents that members of Groyper's breached the Capitol that day as well. Mr. Ray, here's what we know. A foreign actor sent a quarter million dollars in Bitcoin to the leader, Nick Fuentes, of a far-right extremist group, Groypers, in the lead-up to January 6th. We also know from NBC News from January 16th, reporting that the FBI is investigating this particular transaction involving Nick Fuentes. Sir, you can't rule out that other far-right extremist groups received foreign donations in the lead-up to January 6th, can you? Uh, n not only would I not want to rule it out, but certainly the possibility of foreign funding or support for domestic violent extremism is something that's particularly high on our priority list because of the challenges it poses. You and you can't, Bitcoin, you can't rule so out. Part of the concern. Yes, sir. You can't rule out that foreign financing helped fund activities related to January 6th, right? Uh, correct. I'm not sure we've seen that at this stage, but I certainly wouldn't purport to have ruled it out. Okay. That's very disturbing that foreign uh, actors may have helped fund activities connected to the January 6th insurrection. Uh, I want to turn your attention to another topic. Director Ray, you became the FBI director in 2017, right? In uh, August of 2017. We recently learned from Al Apple Corporation that in early 2018, the company received a subpoena including a, fe a federal gag order requesting electronic metadata related to House Intelligence Committee members, staffers, and family members. This is in connection with a, D a DOJ leak investigation. You've heard about this investigation and these subpoenas, correct? I I've been reading about them in the press, yes. Well, CNN reports, quote, the leak hunt began when the FBI sent a subpoena to Apple in February 2018. You don't dispute that report, correct? Uh, I really can't discuss a specific investigation. Uh, I really don't want to get out in front of the Justice Department on this. You know, and, decisions about subpoenas are really best directed. Towards and the them. FBI interviewed witnesses in connection with this leak investigation, correct? Uh, again, sir, I, I really can't discuss any specific investigation. I'm not asking you to discuss, discuss any specifics of the investigation, but the FBI was involved with these investigations, correct? When there are leak investigations, uh, typically the FBI is the investigative agency. Good. That's, correct. that's, that, the, really that's what we thought. The FBI was involved with this investigation. Now, sir, and this is during the time that you are the FBI director, did you ever discuss the Apple subpoenas with Jeff Sessions? 
Uh, Congressman, I understand the question. I really don't want to get out of the Justice Department on this. As you know, the Attorney Sir, General... Sir, you're just being asked a simple yes or no question. To. Did you discuss the leak investigation with Jeff Sessions? Uh, Congressman, again, respectfully, I'm not trying to be difficult here, but the Inspector General has been asked to look into this. I have a very good work Sir, you're being evasive. The These are yes or no questions, General. sir. You're under oath. These are yes or no simple questions that we need to get to the bottom of. Sir, serving these secret subpoenas um, to collect records on members of Congress is something we'd expect in Putin's Russia, not the United States. And sir, your involvement needs to be probed just like everyone else's. Thank you.